So we have uh, discussed about the general properties of all organic compounds. Now we're going to take an overview on the reactions that occur in organic molecules or organic compounds. So in a certain organic reaction, um, we, we should be able to see that there are two things that we look at. Alright, let me find first a uh, working black marker. This is not. Right. So first, we look at the, at the attacking group, which we will define right after the second one is written. A certain scheme. The scheme is in, like in general chemistry, the scheme is if it's synthesis reaction, decomposition reaction. So we will talk about those later on. So first, we go to the attacking group. The attacking group is that which reacts with the compound. And the scheme is the general pattern in the reaction. So I think the scheme is quite easier to describe. So we have four types. Actually, three of these are real uh, schemes. The, re the fourth is quite different. So let's go through this one by one. The first letter A is addition. And in addition, the format is A plus B equals AB, just like synthesis in general chemistry. Second is elimination. AB yields A plus B, just like decomposition in general chemistry. Substitution here is just like displacement, but it's always double displacement because if in general chemistry you, you recall one of those in single displacement is an ion remember in organic chemistry we rarely encounter ions maybe we encounter them as reagents but not as the compound of interest and the fourth is rearrangement where in for example uh, I always depict, it, depict this in, in this manner I, by the way in substitution if we have A, B and C, D then we just exchange them All right. And in rearrangement, if I have like A looking like this, it goes to a different arrangement or conformation because this is for isomers. <laughs> All right. This is when one isomer turns into another. That's the re uh, that's called rearrangement reaction or rearrangement in scheme. Now the attacking group is a result of the breakage of a bond. So meaning the attacking group must have an uh, must have a kind of charge, all right. And uh, to yield an attacking group, we should be able to cleave a bond. So, for example, I have a Cl2 here, a chlorine molecule. We could break this homolytically. Lysis means breakdown, right? Homo means the same. So, meaning if I have this bond between the two chlorine atoms they would share the same number of electrons one each and here we call uh, an atom with one unpaired electron as a free radical and this is the same free radical that we encounter or that commercials say which harm our body because they really do harm our body heterolytic means there's a difference or there is an imbalance in the cleavage for example, this one, one of the chlorines will get both electrons and one of them will not get any. So it's as if we broke it in this manner. One of them would get both having a full negative charge and one of them will have none having a positive charge. So here, what we've already covered one of the attacking groups, the free radical. Here. If the attacking group is negative or more likely negative, it can be neutral, but most of the time it is negative, we say that this is a nucleophile. Why? Because what's in the nucleus of an atom? Neutrons, protons. 
And since this is negative, most likely it would like protons. That's why you say it's a nucleophile. While this, this is uh, called an electrophile. Because since this is positively charged, it would like an electron. All right. So we designate the symbol NU negative for nucleophiles and E positive for electrophiles. For radicals, we just use R. So we use the general format. Um, we use the general format two subscript one, wherein we use we use the one and two here, wherein the subscript is the attacking group, and two, the two or the large number or the large letter is the scheme. So if I draw something like this, we describe this reaction as electrophilic addition. Or here we can say that this is nucleophilic addition. Or we can say that this is free radical substitution. So that's the general trend. And that's the type of this this is how we will describe the reactions that will go on for all classes of organic compounds. So I hope you are briefed with this uh, introduction before we go on.